Did you just put a cigarette into his mouth? That's... Oh, it's the video, if that's okay. I'm not judging. You're both consenting adults. Can I please capture your interactions? Thank you. Very kind of you. I wish everyone was as cool as this. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have two, con two consenting adults role-playing in public. And um, I'd like to be offended, but they're two consenting adults, and I, I, support, I support their freedom. But the viewers will be wondering, what, what is going on? What is going on? Female supremacy. Yeah. So they know that women are in charge and women are here to vote. So as the beta male. The beta female, male. Are you a beta male? Okay. As the beta. A beta male is basically a male that wasn't really born to be a man. As you can see, that's why she's in a pretty frilly dress. Oh. <laughs> well, I won't judge. No, no. But does that not hurt? The cigarette ash on your tongue. Is it okay if I speak to. to it's okay that and can you answer questions? What? Oh, my phone's ringing. Um, quickly, what do you get out of it? Humiliation. Humiliation. She said this is a world of female supremacy. I hate to break it to you. It is not. She started with female supremacy and then called him a beta male, then referred to him as she. So if you identify him as a beta male, how does that make you supreme? Wouldn't it make you supreme to have an alpha male, if we're going to use those terms? Wouldn't it make you supreme to have a man that is seen as an alpha on his knees eating the cigarette ash. Anyone can get a mentally retarded boy to sit on his knees and you take the piss out of him like that because, I mean, he's saying he's getting humiliation out of it, right? So he's not all there. So if you're really a badass like you think you are, you would get somebody with my mentality on their knees eating your cigarette ash, but you're not. No one of your mentality in their right mind is going to do that. But also she was going back and forth because she said beta male, then she said she she's a pretty little whatever yeah and then she went back to oh you can speak to him yeah she's not all there either <coughs> no clearly not i saw i saw some comments uh, uh from because i didn't see this on the page that you saw and i saw on a different page and i saw some people going yes queen uh, it's time for us to take <laughs> over i was like listen you're not taking over shit you're not if you can get somebody that is of high status or not even high status just of somebody that's not a bitch like that guy somebody that's not mentally inept to be on their knees and i might listen to you might, then i might be like oh okay how did she pull that one off but you've got somebody with such low self-esteem that they would open their mouth and willingly swallow your cigarette ash on a leash in public and then confess that they're getting humiliation out of it whilst they sit in a pink dress what does what does that do for you exactly it's there's nothing supreme about it, is there no, the whole concept absolutely doesn't make sense and it doesn't fit the point that she's trying to make at all. Uh, it was just the strangest interaction I think I've ever seen. But also, he was like, does that cigarette ash not hurt you? And he was like, no. But you saw him like flinching whenever it was <laughs> in his mouth. Of course it hurts. Cigarette ash, you yeah. idiot. Like I don't... Like obviously, he, he has problems, so we'll forget about him. But yeah. to focus on this woman, who also has problems, but she's obviously exploited a, a, a young man. I would say that take your female supremacy gimmick and try to apply it to guys from more rough areas, from more rough backgrounds. And please film it and let us know how it works out for you. I would love to see how that goes. Yeah. Now, I'm not advocating violence and I'm not advocating for anything bad to happen to this imbecile, but I'm very, very skeptical of the fact that you will be able to push your female supremacy on any of these type of guys. It's just not going to happen. Do you know what's sad about it, though, is I understand he's approached and he's been like, oh, you know, there's nothing I can do because you're you're two consenting adults. But at the same time, it's sad that so many people can just watch and just, you know, just let them get on with it when they can clearly see this, this situation here that's taking place is not OK. Do you know what I think's happened? I think that woman was either abused or she was exposed to a really, like... <coughs> maybe ugly side of, of masculinity maybe, or, yeah. or guys that ain't so nice. And now she's trying to exact some sort of revenge on men. But that's, first of all, trying to go about it that way just doesn't make any sense because you found somebody that anybody could have done that to. If, if he can submit to you and you don't look particularly intelligent, anyone can make not him submit. Not intelligent at all. Like she literally looks like, I'm not going to insult a whole, group, a whole group of people, but... She looks like the kind of person that I expect to see on like eight in the morning 
off their face. Uh, you know, when you used to go to work in certain areas and you just see the same crackhead on the side of the street and you're like, bro. And not crackhead as in homeless, as in this person has a home to go to, but they're always at the pub or they're always on the street corner. That's what she looked like. But she's found some guy that's inept. And it can only be because she was either tricked into some sort of female supremacy movement by other idiots or that she came into contact with bad men and this is how she wants to get her revenge. I would advise no woman to try and do that shit. To m most men are not going to take that. It will backfire horribly on you. No, but there is a lot of men who do, as we've established on this channel, are quite like mentally sick that... that will let women just sort of abuse them in, in different ways. Like, you know how there's men that will pay women to sort of just say nasty things to them and cuss them out and stuff. Like, some men are so deprived of a woman's attention that they'll practically, practically do anything to at least have that encounter, if mm. that makes sense. I don't get it, guys. You know, peace and quiet is a lot more fun. It is, but you've, you've, you've not experienced a lack of female attention yeah i have every guy has i might not have experienced it to the level that maybe that donut had but uh, every guy has experienced a lack of female attention or they've experienced a lack of attention from the female they want you know it could it could come in many different forms but i would never stoop so low as to let a woman put a leash around my neck in public and put cigarette butts in my mouth i might sit in my room and be like oh, what's wrong with me why am i getting no attention from girls but then I realize I've, I've, you know, I've got, I've got better things to do than be humiliated by some ugly bitch. Can I be honest with you though? Me as a as a mentally sane person would never, ever want to do that to someone. I couldn't imagine ever being at a point in my life where I want to put cigarette ash in someone's mouth, where I want to put someone on a leash, a male in a dress, in public, and have him sit there and and be disrespected and abused like that i just i wouldn't i don't understand the enjoyment that someone could get the the she's enjoyment sad. she's feeling doesn't correlate with the point she's put behind it of women being in charge like it doesn't work like that like if you want women to be leaders and be in charge that's not the way you treat people either you know no one's going to respect you for doing that you're, you're you you belong in a hostel movie if you want to abuse people like that you 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 belong in a in a hostel have you seen hostel yeah, that's where the, the I know she, she's probably not rich, but the rich people that pay to get people tortured and abused just because they've got nothing else to do with their time, and they're so rich that they can do whatever they want, and it's just that I will never understand the concept of a human who gets enjoyment out of watching another human suffer, and that in itself is just completely mentally insane. Look, I'm not going to sit here and pretend <laughs> like I wouldn't get enjoyment out of watching someone suffer. It would depend on the person like for example if I they if, if they got a hold of like a a pedophile for example who had ruined the lives of many children i'm not going to sit here and pretend like i wouldn't get a kick out of watching them suffer they deserve it you know i'm i'm not as pure hearted as savvy but we've all established that i've got no qualms of that but i think humiliated innocent people or people that yeah. have they they don't even know that they're being humiliated or they don't know they have mental deficiencies yeah. i think those people are scumbags you might think i'm a scumbag for what i just said and that's perfectly fine but i think there's levels to it yeah it was, it's like if i targeted you knowing that like you're calm and quiet and everything and i just started picking on your insecurities and picking on you mm. for different things versus a version of you that goes out of her way to humiliate men bully children i wouldn't feel as bad humiliating that version of you but going after it. you wouldn't make yeah. any sense but i also just the concept of taken advantage of someone who is essentially helpless like for example if you saw a dog and the dog was um getting abused by its owner the dog is helpless and you feel sad because there's nothing the dog can't defend itself yeah and this guy being mentally insane is not going to defend himself and just taking advantage of someone who is essentially helpless is really sad yeah yeah she's um her female supremacy movement is not going anywhere. I think no, that's not the way about it. Absolutely not. I, th I like. I <laughs> hold women in very high regard. Good women, not not all women, but just like good women in general. I hold them in high regard because they are our mothers and our wives and our sisters and our cousins and all that. Like my my one of my best friends is my little cousin. You know, I love being around her. You're one of my best friends. There's my mum. There's your mum. So 
It's not like I don't want women to be supreme, but that's not how you go about it. We're supposed to love and help each other. Putting men down does not help you. And again, you can't put down a real man. A real man will never allow you to do that. He will put you down. Yeah, I just don't know why there needs to always be this com- competition of who's more alpha and who's in control and things like that. Like, just, it's, it's unnecessary. It is unnecessary. She's you know, she's mentally disabled as well. So, mm. you know, uh, you brought up Hostel. Mm. And I, that, I forgot about it. So thanks for re-traumatizing me. But there's a scene in Hostel too that I, for like 10 years, I couldn't get out of my head. I don't know if you remember, but you have you seen Hostel too? I've seen all the hostels. I couldn't recite what happens in any of them. I was really young. So in Hostel 2, there's a twist. <laughs> and the guy that is going there to do all the, like, the messed up killing in the facility actually chickens out. And his helper actually gets into it and starts really enjoying it. And there's a part where they tie something. Like, I can't remember who it was that they tied down. But they tied him down. They got pliers and they ripped his dick off. And you see the entire thing. And I remember I wasn't ready. And when they ripped it off, it didn't just come off clean. There was veins in that and they were pulling oh. at it. I, I could not get that scene out of my head. I don't know how people create these movies as well. Like, where, oh, you know, like, um, have you seen Human Centipede? Yeah, I've seen Like, all how of them. someone's brain takes them to that point to, to create that kind of movie and no one questioned it. People just let them create this stuff and don't question are these people mentally insane? Host- Human Centipede number two was dreadful. Yeah, it was so bad it was in black and white. Yeah. Hostel, I can kind of give the guy a pass because the themes in it are not so far-fetched. Like, I believe that those things probably do happen and they probably do happen in that fashion. But Human Centipede and Martyrs and a Serbian film, those films... Yeah, a lot of them who, foreign films. Whoever came up with them, I would put them on an FBI watch list. Especially, I don't know, have you ever seen a Serbian film? Maybe. That is the worst film I have ever seen in my life. If you don't know what a snuff film is, don't look it up yeah, online. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. This is a it's a snuff film, but it's not real. But they would you would believe it is. It's so unbelievably dreadful. And you know Ricardo, yeah, we were watching it with him. And he kept rewinding a certain scene. I was mm. like, bro, stop! I can't watch this anymore. There's um the Saw movies are quite like that as well. Then it's okay. Saw's Saw's death scenes are like Mortal Kombat brutality. They're like comical almost. Mm. You know, they put someone under a car, the car's tearing through their back. But Serbian film is is so horrifying that I will not ever put myself through watching that film again. And I'm not someone that's squeamish over blood. But this... I am. Yeah, if you watch this film, I'm telling you, you will have a nightmare. You have to watch it like this. Yeah, you can't. You just have to to be like this. It is horrific. I can't stress how horrific that film Mm. is. Just to like, get, just to paint a scene, the film is about a retired corn actor that has a gigantic penis, and they emphasize that in the film. And how many inches? Too many, too many. Like the the girls I was watching it were like, yeah, that's just. Did you see what I sent you in the group chat the other day? Yeah, yeah. The guy with the nineteen inches was yeah. it like that. <laughs> It was getting there. You could kill someone with it. But so these these directors, they come to him with a proposal, like offering him money and that, saying, we want you to film in our uh, star in our corn films. And they're going to be original films. Like no one's ever seen this sort of corn before. And he goes, to, I think he goes to Serbia and they drug him and they start getting him to film the scenes. I can't repeat what he does because we will literally get demonetized. This video will get demonetized. Mm-hmm. It'll be finished. But whatever you think is in that film, I can guarantee you it is 10 times worse than whatever you're imagining. But I, put, I shouldn't have said all that. They're going to go and watch it and be like, what the fuck is this? Why have you seen this Listen, film? Listen, like, watch at your own risk. We're not responsible. Yeah. I'm not responsible if you have nightmares. Yeah. I, I was not ready for it, but I'm warning you, if you ever come across this film, look the other way. It's not worth it. There you go. There's your advice. Don't watch it. Yeah, the cinematography is way too good, isn't it? And just remember, curiosity killed the cat. Yeah, it will actually kill your cat <laughs> in this instance.